But today, we're going to talk about electrical systems. It's going to be a multi-part series. I don't know how many parts yet, uh, but today we're just going to do the overview. I always like to see a, a tour of uh, what I'm getting into before I invest my time in somebody's uh, series. So today I'm going to give you a tour of uh, all the different electrical components uh, that I have in this and uh, how I've put them together. And look, if you're like me and you're not an electrical engineer and maybe you've changed an outlet before or put in a ceiling fan or maybe even, uh, you know, put a new breaker in your main box and run a line somewhere in a house or something like that. But other than that, you haven't really done a whole lot with electrical. Uh, don't worry. Uh, I have some tips and some tricks and uh, it, it shouldn't be. I was intimidated, I will admit. And uh, I got Light Harvest Solar in Portland to engineer the system for me because uh, I'm not qualified to do that. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. Usually, I'm the guy who says, oh, yeah, oh, we'll, just, uh, we'll just make it up as we go along. It's going to be fine. No. No, bro. No, that's, this is not the project to do that on. You need to get some professional help if you're like me. You can put it together, but don't design it. Don't engineer it. That's, that's tip number one. I'll give you that one for free. You don't even have to like or subscribe for that. And that's customer service uh, helps a lot when it comes to doing all this stuff. So if you are like me and you're intimidated by all of this wires and fuses and switches and all of this stuff that you don't know how to connect together to do all the fancy schmancies that we've got going on here, grab your beer. Sit back, watch the next couple of episodes, and I think you will be much relieved about putting an electrical system into your vehicle and also maintaining the electrical system in your vehicle. All right, let's get into it. All right, electrical tour. Uh, let's head down to the Nomad set and uh, see what we've got going on down there. This is just like riding Sarlacc tentacles back on Tatooine. She would I have to deal with. Luke, knock it off. Prepare the set for the electrical overview video. Sorry about that. It's hard to find good help these days. But I was going into Toshi to pick up some power converters. Oh. We'll have the set ready shortly, my lord. Okay. Uh, well, uh... While they get the set ready, let's head around to the back and I'll start the tour. The tour actually starts back here in the back where there appears to be no electrical things at all until you peek behind this little curtain. It's like the Wizard of Oz in here. Uh, everything is jamma slamma packed into this small area. I can reach a few things like the battery tester there and I can throw the main breakers and things like that, but uh, if I needed to work on it, I gotta slide the cooler out gives me a nice little opening back there to, to do some work. There's even a little uh, pass-through uh, door there, with a little screen on it to keep anything from touching my electrical stuff. But uh, yeah, uh, it's hard to get into. I guess I could take the cooler out, but F that, I made a way to get in there. Uh, a little dog bed here under our bed, another little slider to access the, the fuses and the breaker box and the distribution stuff. Uh, talk about that in a minute. But I also have this little uh, pass-through door here. It's just on some click-to-open drawer slides. You, you slide that thing open, and uh, you know, luckily, uh, the dog beds uh, make pretty nice uh, things to lay down on when you're working on the electrical system. And you just shimmy on through there. I mean, I'm skinny. I'm flexible. Uh, probably not going to be too stoked about doing this when I'm 70 or 80. Just reach through there, have full access to all the things I'm not actually doing. This is me just pretending to be doing things. This I'm not working on the system, I'm just filming. I can only do a few things at a time here. Um, the camera works a little rough. I put a little uh, thermostat there and there's a little vent hole up there because I was worried it was so tight back here and the coolers back here, it was gonna be too hot. Haven't even needed that computer fan to blow the hot air out of this area yet. 
got a thermometer back there the Simmerine system that we'll show you in a minute has a little uh, alarm that'll go off if it gets too hot back there here's all the components for uh, the solar system we got the charge controller the DC to DC to controller we got a, a distribution box for our solar panel coming in we got three lithium-ion batteries down there uh, a bunch of wire a bunch of copper hanging out and a bunch of dust lots of dust I don't do hair and makeup I don't dust before these videos on this other front side here we've got the uh, the, the main distribution box here uh, fuse box actually uh, DC fuses on the right just those blade fuses and your typical AC house fuses on the left there these two gray boxes down here those are their own fuses for my uh, ch uh, plug-in charging uh, AC coming in and something called AC2 it's fancy we'll talk about it later this is a bunch of these hardware boxes I have some voids in my van and I just put a bunch of these in there sometimes they slide out like that while I'm driving but they've never spilled there's a bunch of other ones that I have taken out of there right now because I'm doing a bunch of other projects on the van uh, back in this corner probably the hardest thing to reach I don't love that it's uh, way back in there but that little flashy light that's my uh, Simmerine uh, distribution monitor shunts I, I can't remember all the technical terms of all these things we'll cover that on the details video and I'll remember all the proper terminology for these things again that AC2 and plug-in uh, AC fuse system there before it heads into the inverter let's get the heck out of this uh, claustrophobic space I just need to do a little yoga to get out of here and we can continue on with the tour okay up here right next to my slider in my entryway area I have this I call it the command center I don't know if it's actually a command center or not but we got the Cimmerine unit some uh, DC plugs there some cigarette outlets but on the other side of that something that you might not know about electricity is that if you got all that stuff on one side you get a lot of wires on the other I also have this distribution box here and I've put these distribution boxes all over my van because I want to be able to deal with the problem where it is those little lights turn on when the blade fuse has blown I love these things they're everywhere I've also got this little uh, these little rails or shrouds down there and this little uh, hidey hole just boom pop it in there disappears this is my office area uh, got a couple of screws in there that I take out here's another one of those distribution boxes got a bunch of different electricity AC and DC and AC2 in here and that is all controlling all of the outlets for my computers my monitors uh, there's an HDMI cable there a little HDMI plug plug the HDMI from the computer into there and then it uh, runs up and over up to the projector that I have mounted above our cab area a couple of little turns on some uh, some um, sash locks there and that thing folds down and uh, there's the HDMI cable in the back also we have another cable in there that is uh, running around this way back to that command center that we were just talking about to that secondary stereo head unit that gives us a kind of surround sound stereo sound uh, facing us when the seats are turned around and we're watching the projector on this screen pretty fancy I think back to the office area I've got a little uh, uh, lockable cabinet here it's a secret so don't tell anybody about it uh, inside of there I have my uh, my laptop my wife laptop my, the, the uh, secondary monitor and uh, then we also have the headphones uh, that I my Bluetooth headphones and my Bluetooth mouse and they plug in there on their own some hard drives down there with all these videos on them lights underneath all of that that can turn on and off I'm also jumping the power off of that distribution box that's inside of that wall and running it up to the driver's front seat that particular one right now is only controlling the uh, heated seats because I didn't want to use the vehicle uh, the electricity because I want to have heated seats when I'm just sitting here and the vehicles not on into the closet past Kendra's necklaces and clothes and there's another distribution box this one is the hardest one to get to so I hope nothing ever blows on that one it's really hard to get in there you gotta take a lot of clothes out coming back into the bedroom here we've got uh, two more distribution boxes his and hers on each side uh, this one is up in the same cabinet that the uh, the air vent is in I mean it's a van uh, things have to do multiple tricks no one trick ponies on my van 
distribution box way deep in there can't really see it that one is also a little difficult to get to this one though plenty easy to get to even got a little reading light there to shine on there for you so you can see what's going on and those are controlling all of the chargers on our nightstands all of these fans all of these uh miscellaneous things that we've got going on back there uh through the hatch in the roof uh we get to step up and get into the roof easily here uh there is the solar panel that's where all the magic happens we're turning photons from the sun into electricity we've got a bunch of switches here these three switches are taking care of some uh some main uh functionality my hot water etc this one this is the simmering unit and i love this thing it's got all the readouts of my input power my uh the consumption power that i'm using on my main different trunks it's got the fresh water and the gray water levels there time to get some fresh water apparently Here's two temperature sensors so that I can compare how hot it is in my electrical bay to how hot it is in my bedroom. This is the pitch and roll. It's an inclinometer to tell me if my vehicle is level before I go to sleep. And a barometer. I'm going to be honest, I don't use the barometer very often. I'm not even sure I know how to use it. It's got a lot of fancy settings, most of which I probably do not know how to use, especially the barometer special settings. Then we've got this secondary stereo. Favorite feature on this, when you turn it off, it has a nice little see you message that it gives you. I'm just kidding. There's lots of other cool things that that does. Dimmers on the light switches here. A couple of other cigarette outlets there. And then we've got the uh, Starlink and the WeBoost there. That WeBoost line runs up to the front cab where we have this three charger system. This is just running off of the van power. So nothing special there. But we did tap in to some of the fuses in the van to get this little uh, extra cigarette lighters up here. This is our uh, 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 Wi-Fi uh, via cell. What are those things called? Hotspots. And then the uh, WeBoost antenna. Then moving on up here, this is the uh, dash cam system. And the dash cam uh, is a three channel. It's got a forward facing, an internal facing, and it's got the rear facing. What I have done is tapped into a, this particular dash cam. Just happened to have this AV port. And I started scratching my head and I was like, wait a second, I think I can use this to have a rear view mirror. Because once you build your van out, you ain't using your regular rear view mirror anymore. So yeah, we just threw that in there. So a couple fancy tricks there. Hope you enjoyed the tour. All right, there you have it. Tail to nose, nose to tail, electrical overview. We're going to go through each of the individual elements in ladder videos. So if you have something that you saw on the tour that you want to know more about specifically, throw it down there. I'll hook you up. Uh, if you don't, uh, there's lots of other videos right here that you can check out. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Before we get into... Wait, am I recording? I am. Good. That's a good... It's a good place to start this record button. <laughs> what was I saying? Uh...